Captain Marvelous and all of his marvelousness. Up for review today, we have the Gokai Red vinyl figure from the 2011 Super Sentai series Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger, which is to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the Super Sentai series, in which all the Gokaijers made their very first appearance in Gosager vs. Shinkenger. Now, as for the story goes, I'm not going to spoil anything. You're going to have to check it out yourself just to see how epic it is. So let's go on with the figure review. Throughout my entire life, I've never really been a big fan of pirates, other than Pirates of the Caribbean, so imagine Jack Sparrow as Gokai Red. So when I first heard about a pirate-themed Super Sentai, I kind of thought that I wouldn't really like that concept all that much. But ever since I saw the first episode, it's actually grown on to me quite a bit. In fact, I actually like it now. And it makes sense, too. You know, the seven C's. Usually five members on a Sentai team. 7 times 5 equals 35. 35th anniversary of Super Sentai. Hey, and this anniversary series actually makes a lot more homages than what the previous anniversary series does. Like, the suits, for example, are very reminiscent of the Go Ranger suits. They bring back the collar around their neck. Which they also have the Go Kaiger logo on the side of it. Also, Gokai Red's visor is very reminiscent of Aka Ranger. It also looks a bit, and, well, this is just my opinion, and it looks a lot like Re Ranger's visor and Hurricane Red's visor. Now, he does come with tags. And a tag that looks like a Ranger key, except it's smaller. Or by, like, about around here. Has kanji, katagana, hiragana in it. The other Gokaijers, just the back of it. Comes with an advertisement card for the Super Sentai Daiso game Deluxe. And here is Gosei Red's advertisement card, just for a comparison. And of course, he comes with his own Daiso card. You can't, the Tensoder cannot read this because there's no barcode on it. Besides looking reminiscent of the Go Ranger suits, they also look reminiscent of the Shinkenger suits. The most noticeable thing is the black spandex on their legs. And they all have the same color scheme. But, and they still maintain the pirate look. Uh, while having black spandex under there, they also have another bit of colored spandex that makes it look like a coat. The figure has a glossy visor. And of course, since this is a vinyl figure, it has only three points of articulation. Now on the ratings, I'm going to have to give the Gokai Red vinyl figure a 5 out of 5 for the detail, the molded detail, the glossy visor, and how reminiscent it is of previous Sentai. But the cons are, well, obviously being a vinyl figure, it doesn't have much posability. In fact, only three points of articulation. But it's more meant for display purposes anyway. And it's a figure that looks a lot like a human when you just have it standing there on a the shelf. And here's an idea that I've had, but uh, we all know will never happen. Ultraman. Ranger Keys. Now, like I said, this most likely will never ever happen. And But it's just an idea that I got in my head. And Now, I can honestly imagine little Ultraman Ranger Keys, but uh, Super Sentai is owned by Toei, and the Ultraman series is owned by Subaraya, even though they did an Ultraman and a Kamen Rider crossover. Still, that would be an awesome idea. I can honestly imagine the Gokaijers putting in Ultraman Ranger Keys, into their Mobirates and transforming into Ultramen. Or transgender Ultra Women. And until next time, sayonara.